Saybrook will be shining bright this weekend when the Starlight Festival kicks off the holiday season there. Yeah, and uh, we are going to have a lot of special guests joining us. <laughs> I'm going to be helping you all out and uh, it's helping uh, we're joining by, we're joined by I can't even talk I'm so excited about tomorrow <laughs> we're joined by Heather McNeil the co-chair of the Starlight Festival Brett Elliott from the Cape and Jennifer Donhue Old Saybrook's economic development director good morning everyone good morning. Good morning. all right so when us. do you start planning December 26th of last year we did yeah, yeah. We did get an early start. <laughs> seriously I mean mm -hmm. this is a lot of work and it it's going to be it's good but it's going to pay off absolutely and the exciting thing is we have two things going on the Starlight Festival this is going to be the second year it's taken place but the annual tree lighting of the heroes tree at the Kate this is the 13th year 13th year yes indeed mm -hmm. Wow yeah. so what's going on um, first of all for the day tomorrow things kick off at what time two o'clock okay. on the green the starlight festival is part of youth and family services fundraiser for the shoreline soup kitchen and pantry which is just remarkable that's yeah. such a great it's such a great organization oh. that helps so many of the residents along the shoreline and we have some children's activities with the Acton library and some of our community partners like healthy futures we have face painting we have a special guest from the North Pole coming. Oh, I really? wonder who that is. At 30, he will arrive, um, I think, from the train station by fire truck. Wow. So um, families can arrive by two to get in line for that. And what else is going on down on the green? Um, well, we're going to have the trolley running up and down Main Street all day. Oh, that's awesome. And oh, that's uh, our shops are all ready for um, people to come up and down Main Street. Our restaurants are offering some Starlight specials and we'll have live entertainment at a few of those, so. And is, is this a fundraiser for the Old Saybrook Youth and Family Services? It's not. We um, use our resources to raise money for Shoreline Soup Kitchen and Pantry. Okay. But part of our job is to organize community youth to come out for community activities and um, Got it. they can earn community service hours. But the best part of it really is for residents to be able to see our high school youth having fun and being mentors to, to some of the young Yeah, that's children. really so wonderful. That's, that's what we do. And mm -hmm. what's great is the school children are also going to be taking place, right? There's some singing and events happening. Right. The high school um, core will be there around 4.30 to 4.45 over at the Cape. Mm -hmm. And then we have a high school group that will be helping us. They'll be dressed as um, in different characters and helping with the face painting and pictures with Santa. Uh, right. And Brett, the Kate is involved. Kate is involved, yes. We have for the last 13 years have been the host of the Heroes Tree. It's led by Gold Star Mother Kathy Cross. It oh, looks a lot God like bless. a Christmas tree, of course. It's in our picture window. Mm -hmm. But it is the Heroes Tree and it's adorned with stars, blue stars for active duty military, silver for those injured in the line of duty, and gold for those lost. And mm -hmm. it's a really special mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. um, it is for the state of Connecticut, not just Old Saybrook, but we are the host and we're very proud of that. That is awesome. 13th year. 13th yeah. year. And the mm -hmm. lighting uh, will, the ceremony will start at 5 o'clock in front of the Kate. Um, and, uh, you know, we're hoping, fingers crossed, the weather cooperates, but, yeah. uh, you know, we're really excited to, to bring in the holiday season. But remember all of those people that were our Connecticut heroes mm -hmm. as well during this really festive time. Yeah, and when you drive by Old Saybrook downtown and you see that mm -hmm. tree and you see the lights on the green, which is the second year it's going to be mm -hmm. happening, it's such a beautiful sight and what a way to bring the community together as well. So 5 o'clock is the tree lighting, 5 to 6, and uh, 2 o'clock things kick off. Mm -hmm. And uh, obviously the rain. If we do have a little bit of rain forecast in the afternoon, what's going on? It'll be there? on the town web page if we have to make a change. It'll okay. be all on all the uh, and, locations, and social media who's, pages. Uh, who's emceeing the event? Nicole. Oh, Nicole. 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 Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Go out and meet Nicole. Thank you guys so much for coming Thank in. You. We Thank you. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Great. Looking forward yeah. to Thank it. Thank you. I can't believe you're such a star. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Tis the